So, back on the well here. This past week we've had a little bit of time to put a little work in here. So what we've done is pump the well right dry, right down to the bottom as far as we could get it. And uh, dumped a couple gallons of bleach in there, two and a half gallons of bleach, and filled it back up. Uh, we filled water back in in order to uh, in order to push the the bleach out into the other two underground buried towers there, and into the annular space there to make sure that we get uh, get good treatment throughout, kill anything that's hiding in the rocks or in the other towers there. So uh, we did that, pumped her dry, and. Uh, that's where, where we're at here right now. This is filled up a little bit overnight, so I'm gonna pump her right, right dry again. And I've got a couple gallons of bleach kicking around here somewhere that I'm gonna throw in there again, just to uh, do it a second time and make sure that we've got any, any bacteria or coliforms or anything killed off. So uh, we're gonna do that right here now. And after that, we'll pump her dry after letting it sit for a couple of days and we'll let her fill it back up naturally. And uh, I might pump her out one more time just to make sure we flush out all the chlorine so we don't get a false reading when we send the water sample off to the lab. Uh, but uh, the idea is we wanna get an accurate sample of what the water is coming into the well here, see whether we need any treatment for, uh, for potable water. After that, we'll send another sample off to the lab to uh, check out our water quality and see if we need to do anything for, uh, for softening the water or anything like that. Uh, just as a note, the last time I pumped this dry, much less smell of, of uh, sulfur in it. So uh, hopefully, we'll keep our fingers crossed, maybe we won't need much for treatment. However, I'm not holding my breath, I'm expecting that we will. Anyway, let's get this pump fired up, get our pump dry, I'll see if I can go find uh, where my bleach is hiding. Getting close here. Getting pretty close down to the foot valve. And uh, one of the other things I did here is I turned on the, uh, the well pump. I got a garden hose draining here on this side, and I got one. Uh, I got one opened up over on the other side as well. So I'm just curious uh, at what depth that thing shuts off in the pump hose here. This is the well controller, and uh, I can see it's flashing green, which means that it's kicked off. Did it just kick off? It did. How's that for timing? So, uh, so that amperage sensor, that control unit in here, senses uh, a surge in, in amperage when that pump runs dry, shuts off the pump just to protect it, turns it back on in uh, I think it's about an hour. Let some water build back up just to uh, protect the pump. Make sure you don't kill it. And we're very close to the bottom of the foot valve there. I can see it starting to suck air. And now we're starting the little cycle here. Okay, we are pretty doggone close to run dry. We'll get this shut down and throw some bleach in there. Okay, so we got the chlorine in there. Dumped a couple gallons of bleach in. And uh, now we'll fill this up with water. Push that chlorine out into the annular space in the other two chambers underground there. 
So uh, we'll let that sit for a few days and uh, then we'll pump her dry again. Get rid of all that chlorine and bleach that's in there. We'll let the well fill up naturally and then start, uh, start sending samples off to the lab. See what we got for water here. So that's about it for right now. We'll check in later.